contestant number three, come on down. Oh, by the way, contestant number three is also a middle-aged white man. Just thought I'd point that out. All this shit is that you do. Now I get it. You like to make friends with people and then fuck with them and go to war with them. and It's cool. I think it's an absolute waste of time, but everyone has their kinks. And you know, you guys, you never got me. Uh, Don, the rogue moon, he got his undergraduate degree in not fucking caring, but me, I've got a PhD in not fucking caring. I mean, you don't go through shit in life like I've gone through and survive without developing a PhD in not fucking caring. You see, this, this is me caring about your whole YouTube drama right here, you see? Don't blink, you might miss it. I and a lot of others don't want to have anything to do with it. We'd appreciate it if you'd respect that. I'm, I'm sorry, but we just don't see a 30... Okay, Puka. Oh, I'm not sure what the fuck this description bar was about. Or, I, I, don't, I don't remember talking to you in Blog TV. I'm not sure that ever actually happened. Um... But now, since the Felita bullshit, I keep running into people on Blog TV who expect me to be some drooling maniac who just can't help but troll. Puka, I just, I wish you would just kept your fucking mouth shut. So you, you make this video and you talk about how you have your PhD and not fucking caring when clearly you do. You didn't open your fucking mouth until Coughlin said it was okay to do so. And you've been ass deep in this from the beginning. And I'd like to point out, actually, we did try to leave you out of it. I went out of my fucking way to leave you out of it. I could have brought your name up in all kinds of videos, all kinds of comments posted everywhere. And even though you couldn't seem to fucking help yourself, you could not keep your ass off of the comment sections, you could not keep your goddamn mouth shut, we still didn't bring you into it. You're all over somebody's blog, though. And in this video, you're implying that that someone left you out of it. Fuck you, Puka. And, um, I'm probably gonna have to deal with you again later, because there's just so much fucking bullshit behind you. It's not even funny. It's just not even funny. But, um, yeah. In, in short, just fuck off. Fuck you. Um, let's see. And now we have... Also, a middle-aged white man. Oh, Miss Pure Fiction, who is an excellent troll, an excellent infiltrator, you might say, in an electronic sense, although she well, tends to go for the easy targets, doesn't like fighting the strong ones. And no, I'm not counting myself as a strong target, just an annoying one. But, um, and you get these people, you get them together. Badger. Okay, Badger. I made a video a little while ago titled Men Don't Like Me, in which I mentioned men who think they're feminists who just can't handle when I don't do what they tell me to fucking do. I didn't name names there, but one of those names would have been you. It would have. Anywho, um, anyone who's come confused about what he means that I'm an infiltrator in the electronic sense. You may be a bit confused because almost everyone knows I'm practically illiterate when it comes to most computer programs. What he's talking about is the fact that I record people that I don't trust. There's a reason that I do that. See, with, um, I, I happen to have an extremely good memory. And it works extremely well for things that I hear. I remember almost everything that anyone says to me. And um, I learned very early on in life that not everyone can do that. And furthermore, I learned that not everyone even remembers everything that they themselves say. So when I don't trust someone, especially when I don't trust someone who comes to me, I record them because I found that oftentimes they need to be reminded of what they actually said. So if the subject is at all important, if the subject can ever come back and bite me in the ass, and if I don't trust the person that I'm speaking with, 
you can bet their voice is probably on this computer somewhere. And um, there are some people that I have recorded that know that I have recorded them, and they're not angry because they were honest. And there are some people that I have recorded, and they know that I have recorded them, and they're very angry. Extremely angry. They don't like me at all. And they'll probably never speak to me again. Um, you don't like me very much, Badger. Why are you so mad? Just ask him. And um, also wanted to point out that you have been sitting on this video for months. And you decided to release it now that Coughlin says it's okay. Fuck you. Alright, moving on. Contestant number five, who also happens to be a middle-aged white man. Makes them up on Skype. And you know, we don't even have to watch any of this video. It's fucking Ash. Ash is a raven. You are such a hot ass mess, it's not even funny. Um, when you were on Team Tanya and you're running around and making any existence on YouTube generally miserable for me and my friends, um, I, I wonder if you realized that you would let Tanya Hilton turn you into a troll. That's what you were doing there. You were trolling. Trust me, I know trolling when I see it. I had to block you about four times. The first time wasn't good enough for you. You had to be blocked several times more. And I hadn't done anything to you except for when you came to me trying to ask about the drama that we were trying to handle behind the scenes in negotiation at the time. I told you no. We all told you no. We're not talking about that. Maybe William Cardinal talked to you because, you know, that kid's got issues I'm not even going to get into right now. But, um, all we did was we said no when you came to us asking questions about the drama. And, um, for some reason that you took that as license to be absolutely vile to me and my friends. To be a complete fucking troll. That's all you were. You came back three or four times. I'm reading about my divorce and comment sections from you, and I never had that discussion with you at all. You're not even supposed to know I'm going through a divorce, and you're talking about it in comment sections. You were being a fucking troll. And then when Tanya starts mashing on you, when she starts doing all the same shit to you that she was doing to us, you just can't fucking imagine... That maybe she was a manipulative bitch all along. That maybe this isn't something new that happened to her. That maybe, just maybe, she tricked you. Yeah. But you know, that's just fucking ridiculous. No one can trick you. You're on the internet. You have to be right all the time. Fuck you, Ash. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And um, since... You know, Coughlin seems to run when it's okay to start talking about things and when it's okay to say this or that or what drama's okay to talk about. And you know, since, you know, Coughlin's the boss of all that, I think that you should all take his advice. And if, if I say something that annoys you, or if AOD does something that annoys you, ignore us and fuck off. Thanks. Bye.